Hey, it's Shane Phillips just talking to you today again about just military law, the kinds of things that are out there for especially investigations. So one of the things you have to be careful of is when you get a text or a message or a phone call from somebody you think maybe is angry at you related to sexual or any kind of issue that happened between the two of you that could be over with military law enforcement. So they are listening, but here's how they do it. So I had a client that basically had known that there was an issue that happened between him and a young lady while they were overseas it was related to touching inappropriate sexual touching and so he knew that once she left out that she was mad and about one o'clock in the morning he got a text from her and she wanted to talk about it back and forth as far as by text so he starts texting her back and forth and he's not giving her the answers that she wants and she's kind of wanting to talk about what happened between the two of them and he realizes that maybe something's a little bit wrong but what he does is he basically says well we need to talk about this on the phone because he doesn't want to, you know, memorialize what happened in the text. So she calls him at about 3 a.m. and they kind of go back and forth. And he never really admits to things, but he does say he's sorry a couple of times. And he goes through and he basically says, okay, yeah, I admit there was a problem that happened between us, but, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, didn't mean for this to happen, but doesn't get into the specifics. So later, when we're at a court martial, basically we get all the discovery and they show her on video when she initially went to see ID that night at, at the military you know, law enforcement. She went there at 12 o'clock at night and they start doing a long interview with her and then eventually they say, hey, you got your phone? Why don't you text him? Because they can't text him or call him or do anything without telling him their CID and reading him his rights. But when she does it, it's a spontaneous admission on his part. So at about 1 a.m., she starts texting him with her special victims counsel already assigned right there. She's got CID right there and they're all looking over the phone as she texts what she is trying to do with him. Hey, you know, you remember what happened tonight? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? And then at some point she's like talking to the CID agent. She's talking to her counsel and she's like, he's not answering the way that I want him to and he wants to talk to me on the phone. And they're like, no problem. So when basically she calls him up and they start talking and it's funny because what you have is over the phone, she's got her phone sitting right in front of her and they're all leaning over the phone looking at it as he's answering and they're all taking notes as to what he's saying and it's all being recorded and something is spontaneous and he's talking about how sorry he is about what happened. He's talking about how this, you know, he didn't mean for there to be a confusion between the two of them. He really felt like, you know, there was something special between the two of them, blah, 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 blah. All of that comes out at trial. It's all admissible and instead of having to put some bug on your phone, which is everybody's always worried about that law enforcement's doing, they don't do that. What they do is they use the victim to contact you and it's called pretext. So if you get a message from somebody who you've had a problem with, no matter what kind of case it is, and you're thinking it's a little bit strange that they're asking you these kind of questions, you might as well just assume that you're talking to CID or law enforcement. So be careful. If you want to get a hold of me, 931-217-7648, jphillipslaw22 at gmail.com, or we've got an appointment link below. Just click that and we'll line up an appointment. We'll be talking. Thank you.